Bruce Guthrow, one of Cape Breton's most well-known troubadours whose remarkable 40-year career made waves on both sides of the Atlantic, has died. Guthrow passed away on Tuesday evening after a battle with cancer, his family said. He had just celebrated his 62nd birthday on Aug. 31. He leaves behind his wife, Kim Guthrow, two children, Jody and Dylan Guthrow, as well as many family and friends. Guthrow was born on Cape Breton Island and started his career leading a band at local clubs and legions, what his longtime friend and colleague J.P. Cormier described as his first career, as Guthrow would reinvent his place in the music industry many times over. He would later move to the Halifax area and go on to have a successful solo career before fronting the hugely popular Scottish band Runrig for 20 years. More recently, he brought together both established and up-and-coming artists in his mold-breaking songwriter's circles, where the musicians face each other in the center of a room, surrounded by the audience, allowing a vulnerable and emotional atmosphere of storytelling. Cormier described Guthrow as one of the most likable people you ever met in your life. He was so incredibly proactive and positive, but it was impossible to stop it. And that's what inspired all of us, said Cormier, who knew Guthrow for more than 30 years. He saw the universality of us as writers, but also saw the thing that made us different, which made us stronger. And he was compelled, for some reason, to demonstrate that to the world over and over and over again, and that's what the circles were. Guthrow transcended genres, from rock to traditional, and marched to the beat of his own drum, said Cormier, forging his own path in a cutthroat industry through his ability to connect with people and brush off negativity. In his early days, even as he was signed to a major label and rose to number one in the Canadian charts with Walk This Road, Guthrow always avoided the troublemakers of the business and floated above adversity, said Cormier. He was very smart. He knew people. He knew more about people than most guys I've met, said Cormier, who has himself sat in Guthrow's circle more times than he can count. He loved people and so his success was unavoidable. For fellow Cape Breton songwriter Gordy Sampson, Guthrow was the Yoda of performance, he just had the force, he could work the crowd and he knew it, and there was absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. That's what entertainment is, said Samson. He was able to read his audience. He lived and fed off the crowd, and it was so innate Guthrow started from humble beginnings, growing up in the small coal mining community of Sydney Mines. He was the seventh of nine children. She was MacNeil, one part of the Cape Breton family band the Barra MacNeils, recalled playing with Guthrow at the local beverage room in their teen years and then returning to the MacNeil homestead to continue the revelry until the wee hours. On the weekends, we would gather in the woods around a fire and sing songs, and actually a lot of famous singers from Sydney Mines gathered around that fire with Bruce, said MacNeil, joking that perhaps the Brown Street Country Club campfire jams were the origin of his songwriter's circles. In the late 1990s, a Celtic band from Scotland called Runrig was looking for a new lead singer. Enter Guthrow, who held the band's main microphone and helped fill European stadiums until their final performance in 2018, which drew more than 50,000 people. Former Runrig bandmate Pete Wishart described Guthrow as the nicest person you could ever hope to meet, and a joy to perform with. An exceptional singer, musician and songwriter taken far too soon. We are going to miss him, Wishart said in a social media post.